Folks, that's it. Leviton has come up with a game changer for 2025. They've created these push-in connector wall outlet and push-in connector wall switches. Hopefully today's video is gonna save you time and money, especially when you're wiring a bunch of switches and outlets. Those push-in Wago style connectors will save so much time, it's not even funny. So as I said, Leviton has created these, and there's many versions. These are the 15 amp on the switch. It's a single pole, single throw switch. This is a 15 amp Leviton single throw wall switch here. And I will throw links down to all these products down in the description so you can check those out for yourself. So on the back side of the switch, you're gonna have a single entry point for your bare neutral ground wire right there. And then you have your hot wire in and out whichever way you're going to wire this one black hot wire will come in and the other out you're simply going to stab your hot wires right into these holes and i'll demonstrate this here in a minute on the wall outlet that's it folks that's why this is a game changer it's so simple and quick they're reusable once you stab them in you can pull them out these are very quick install and if you prefer the wego push-in connector style connectors these are going to be a game changer for you and i'll go ahead and quickly show you the wall outlet it's very similar now you'll see that these do have the same safety guards on the plugs themselves. So if you prefer that, these are also gonna be a good option for you. As I said, these are the 15 amp Leviton. I'll throw a link to this as well in the description so you can check that out. And then on the side, of course, these are the release for your black and your green. Other side has your two neutral releases there. And that's what makes it a game changer, folks, because you can reuse these and you can push them in and pull them out real quick. If you have a big install, these will go a lot faster than creating your J hooks. So if you prefer the Wago style clamp connectors, these are gonna be game changers for you folks. Okay, this is the back of the wall outlet. And as you can see, you have your two hot wires here. So you're simply gonna stab in your two black hot wires into these ports right here. You'll stab in your white neutrals right here. And then of course, don't forget your ground. These just like in the wall switch are gonna be your release levers. I'll show you that here in a minute when I demonstrate a simple install that's gonna take you about five minutes or less to plug one of these in and replace your wall outlet. And of course, folks, with any electric install the first step is going to be to locate your circuit breaker and disconnect power to that circuit now if you don't know which circuit breaker disconnects power to your circuit I've created a video for you watch that right here it shows a real quick simple easy way to find the circuit breaker the first thing I like to do just in case is go ahead and check make sure you have no lights on and I would check both outlets just in case because sometimes they're wired a little weird and I've got no lights on either you can also use a non-contact voltage tester just to be sure that you've removed power to that circuit. Now I'm confident I've removed power, so the next step is to remove the outlet faceplate. We'll pop that off. Now we've exposed the electrical outlet, we can go ahead and remove the two screws and pull it out of the wall. Now that we've pulled the outlet out of the wall, as you can see on my outlet here, I only have one neutral, one hot wire and one ground. You may have two neutrals and two hot wires, that's okay. Just remember to plug them both in the exact same way. Now also you may have J hooks and your wires may be wrapped around these terminals, that's okay. Just loosen these up and remove your J hooks. And if that's the case, I would snip off the end, restrip them with a new bare piece of copper. That way you have a new unbent wire that will stab right into the back of the new outlet. Now, this is a builder grade outlet, so they've used the back of the outlet as you can see right here. So I'm gonna show you how to remove these and I can just reuse them. So I've got a tiny flathead here. And you'll see these. there's these slots right here. And all you're gonna do to remove these wires is you need to push a flat tip screwdriver. Now it's gonna have to be small. Actually, this one's a little bit too big, so let me grab a smaller one. Okay, I've made it back from my toolbox and you can see I have like an eyeglass flathead here and you're just gonna insert it right into that slot here and basically just push down on the pin in there and pull your wires straight out. This way you can reuse them. You're not cutting any length off of your wires. I'll go ahead and remove the rest of the wires. And then of course your green bare copper wire should just be on a J-hook terminal. Now since that is a J-hook, I would recommend just snipping it off right where the straight part ends. So I'll go ahead and snip that off. Now the instructions say to strip these wires about 9 16 and it actually gives you a little diagram on the instruction manual to where to cut it. So I've marked mine. I'll go ahead and cut it there, make the black wire even with that. 
Okay, now I've got them cut to the proper length, but you definitely don't want to have any exposed copper wire sticking out of the outlet when you're finished. So I've grabbed the new Wago style push-in connector Leviton 15 amp outlet here. I'll go ahead and show you how to install it. Now remember my outlet only has one hot and one neutral wire. Yours may have two, so you'll, if it does have two, you'll be using both black, both white, and of course your green bare ground connection. Since I'm only using one, I'm gonna use the top side of mine. We'll go ahead and do the white neutral first. Step one is just to open up that clamp all the way, just like that. And then you easily insert your white wire down into it. Make sure it's fully inserted. You don't want to have any copper wire showing sticking out of the back because that's cause for electric short to ground and you don't want that. So after you've inserted your wire, holding it with pressure, snap the clamp down, give it a good tug, it should not come out. Now that's a tight fit. That's why these are so quick and easy and I feel that are a game changer, especially when you're doing a multiple outlet or switch install, it's gonna save you so much time. Okay, so for the hot side, we'll do the same thing. Open up the clamp all the way, insert your wire, make sure it's nice and firm, snug down in the bottom, snap your lever back closed, we'll give it a tug. Now those wires are solid in there. Now let's say you have to replace this or you've made a mistake. I'll show you how easy it is to just remove these and reuse it. So you just pop the clamp back open and your wire comes right back out. It's that easy. Of course with your green, you'll wanna open up your clamp all the way once again. Insert your bare copper wire as far as it'll go and then snap that down. Give it a tug as well. And that's it, folks. Your new outlet is wired. Okay, before we push this back into the wall, I just wanted to show you, Leviton has installed this extra tab right here. You can take your Lyman pliers, just grip it right there. Very carefully snap it back. It will snap this piece off if it doesn't fit into your outlet plate. So we'll go ahead and push this back into the wall. Now make sure when you're doing this, you don't open up any of these clamps. Now I'd like to start with the top, get one side going, get a few turns on the bottom, and then just go back and forth that way it's evenly installed. Now you don't want to over tighten it, but you do want it snug against the wall so it's not moving around. Now that the outlet is installed inside the box, we can go ahead and put the decorative cover plate back on. Again, as you tighten the screws on the wall plate, it's very imperative that you don't over tighten these because it will crack that face plate and then you're going to have to buy another one. I always like to line up my screws. And that's it, folks. That's the complete install of the new Leviton game-changing push-in Wago style outlet. And again, if you're gonna install the Leviton single throw switch, the procedure is identical. Just remember, fully open those lever clamps, insert your wires, close them, and that's it. And of course, folks, the last step is to return power to the circuit so we can test this out. And we've made it back from the circuit breaker panel and I've used my Klein Tools circuit tester here. You can see I do have the two green lights, no red light. So it is wired correctly and our new outlet is working great. So folks, let me know your thoughts on these Wego push-in style connector outlets. Have you used these? Are you a fan of the Wego style or do you prefer the J-hook? Let us know in those comments below. And folks, if you found value in today's video, please, please subscribe to the channel here. It does something to the algorithm, which allows it to push out to many, many more people. And also don't forget to watch our next video right here.